here are seven things to know to start your day. And we start with a KHQA update of a Quincy woman has now been sentenced to three and a half years in jail in the 2016 drowning of her son. Jennifer Dolman appeared in Adams County Court yesterday. She pleaded guilty to child endangerment, resulting in the death of her 18 month old son. Number two, the norovirus is appearing once again across the Hawkeye State. The Iowa Department of Public Health says it has received several reports of the illness in the past few weeks. Number three, the CDC will release new flu numbers today in what is the worst flu season in recent years. Currently, the flu is widespread in 49 states. At least 37 children have died. Number four, the eldest son of late Cuban dictator Fidel Castro has taken his own life. Fidel Castro Diaz Barlatz was had undergone months of treatment for depression. Castro was a scientific advisor to the government and once ran Cuba's nuclear program. Number five, President Donald Trump expected to greenlight the release of a Republican memo on the Russian probe later today. That memo alleges surveillance abuse at the FBI and Justice Departments in the investigation into possible ties between Russia and the Trump campaign. And number six, today is National Groundhog Day. Each year on February 2nd, we anxiously await for the groundhog to wake up from hibernation. If the groundhog sees its shadow, legend has it, there will be six more weeks of winter. If it does not see its shadow, spring will arrive early. Hmm, it definitely feels like winter this morning. Single digit temperatures as you head out early on a Friday. Groundhog Day, as we just mentioned. We're going to talk about the forecast into the weekend, the warm up, the cool down, and the